The goal of Rock Blue is twofold. In working with water service providers, we want to engage with as many as possible so that we can help them in their path to become uh, more functional and providing water to their communities and even extending service, water and sanitation, to their communities. We've got basically two tracks where we're working directly with water service providers, and then we have another track, which are our global initiatives, again, focused on getting people access to water and sanitation, SDG 6, and those global initiatives have an impact on the world and the world that's engaged in water and sanitation and hygiene. Uh, WASH, for example, or our free online lecture series, OLS, uh, WULU, uh, which is supporting female leadership in WASH. We have our ACORN initiative, uh, helping utilities get access to capital finance, and there's other initiatives as well. I will encourage as many countries as possible to come and participate because it's a, a forum for you to take back and build on your experiences and sharing the knowledge from other countries. Because by the day coming, we can also learn from their difficulties and then the success story will be shared across. One of the reasons why we started up Rock Blue was the fact that we saw that too much money was spent and then five or 10 years later, there was hardly any recognition of that effort. We have to take an approach that is long lasting, that's durable. And so we abide by what we call the tenants of durability and they're described by part of our name, R-O-C-K-S. The R is for resources. So whatever you've done, do you have the resources? Do you have the finance? Do you have the individuals for this investment that you're working on to be sustainable? The O is for ownership. Have you found the individuals who will take ownership of the operation? And will they be held accountable? And do they have authority? If you don't have ownership, chances are this will not be a durable investment. This will not be a durable project. The C is the connection. If you're working with a community, if you're working with individuals, a business, a water service provider, you want as much as possible to connect with that which they're already familiar with. Try not to go against the flow, but to make the connections with what they're familiar. The K is for knowledge and capacity building. There's no way that whatever you're working on will be sustainable and durable if the individuals who are involved do not have the capacity and the ownership. And the last one is the S. S is the secondary backup system. So with everything you've planned out, if it fails, what's your plan B? What else are you gonna do? Just something that you can put in place if your original idea is not working out. Oasis Steel Rock Blue makes use of uh, retired, highly experienced people who have seen it all and who have gone through the process. They've got a wealth of experience. And it is from that wealth of experience that the current managers or leaders have to tap from for them to be able to manage the utilities properly as it were looking into the future.